Hello Doraemons! Welcome back! So for this video, we are getting into a new topic like we have been uh, doing OTOs on IRA but now we are going to do videos on DCA because DCA is heading towards like in few days so I hope like this video will help you guys a lot like people who are preparing for DCA so just let's get started I've got the questions which is asked on previous DCA exams and I have found like the most simplest solutions which you can easily use to crack the coding questions and let's get started so the first question is based on the string string so what we have to do basically here is this has like forward and backward rotation so based on rotation of the strings we have to compare those two strings and we have to like return an output so this is pretty simple and i have like a very very simple thing to get started with so let's get started so like here we have two like inputs one which is like this i can't read the word and the next is mama like what we have to do here is they have given like forward shift and backward shift forward shift in the sense like here yes will go to the last place like this f will move to left and the yes will go to last one and in the backward shift what will happen like this yes f l everything will move to the right and the p will come to the front so this is like the forward shift and backward shift and after doing that we have to compare these two strings if they are same then we have to return one as like given ma mama here for mama like if we shift left uh, forward and backward we'll get uh, the same like am and am so that we'll be considering it as one uh, as they both are equal so this string given over here will not be equal so in that case we'll be printing like zero so like shift uh, the shifting part is the only part to be considered over here and it is very pretty simple so first let's get the input s is equal to input as it is the string and next what we are going to do is we are going to declare two separate strings and we have to like do forward rotation and also like backward shift forward and backward shift so let's do that so i'm just declaring one variable like k and s of so here what should happen in the first part is this s in the friend should go to the last so we have to consider the elements from index number one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use slicing and i'm going to take only like characters from the front and i'm going to append the first character to the last of the string like this and like if i print k let me just change this input the same like this one and if i run it you can see we got the same fd m and ops so now the forward shift is done now we have to do the backward shift so for the backward shift i'm going to declare one more variable like g and what we have to do now in this part is we have to like ignore the last p and append it to the front of the string so what i'm going to do i'm just going to first take the last character you can use minus one to print the array in the reverse direction so i'm just going to add the rest to the last of the string so here we don't have any like a uh, separate number so i'm just going to ignore the first it should get uh, printed from the first of the string but i want the element ignoring the last character so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a len of s minus one so this will move to the last but one string so now it will like stop with o now let's print and see k and g and let's check so now you can see like the values are getting populated correctly as like shown over here so the first one is fd lm and ops and here also it is fd lm and ops and there's like the last p is f d l m n o and here also it is p d f n o so now we have like two strings one with forward shift and another with backward shift so now we have to just compare whether they are equal or not and then print the output that's it so now i'm just going to put if k is equal to equal to g and and i'm just going to like print 
we have to print 0 if they are not equal if we are going to print 1 if it is equal so if it is equal I should like print 1 and else now I'm just going to print 0 that's it so now let's check now it has printed 0 as like the first hit point put now I'm going to check with mama let's check just running it and we got the output one so this is the solution for this first question let's move on to the second one so here i have the second question this is a little bit as like same like the string but what we have to do here is they will give you a string and then in the end they'll give you a number so you have to check whether this the length of this string given is equal to the same number in the end so that's it so it is like you may feel like this is a little bit tricky but you have like one digit number here two digit number here and you may also have three digits number but i will come up with a very simple solution for this so let's do that so what i'm going to do here is first we'll get the input s is equal to input and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare an array and i'm going to iterate through the s for i in s i'm going to check if the characters which is given in the string if it is a character then i'm going to append it to this l array if it is not then i'm going to like uh, separate this string so what how i can do that is we have in function if i dot is alpha it will check whether the character is alphabet or not if it is an alphabet then i'm going to append it to the l array so l dot append and we'll add it to i and else if it is not an alphabet it must be definitely a digit as you guys know like here in the output they have given the number will be like appended to the end of the string so it is not going to be any symbol or something so what we are going to do is we are going to like declare one more variable like n and we are going to just uh, add this digit to that n but here there is one more problem here we are not sure like whether it will be a one digit number or a two digit number so to be on the safer side what we are going to do is we are going to just multiply this n n is equal to n star 10 in case if it is like a single digit number initially n will have 0 and 0 multiplied by 10 it uh, doesn't mean anything at all but if there is any number previously added then it will like become if it, considering it got 1 and it will be multiplied by 10 and then the 5 comes in it will just add 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 so this number can be formed so just doing the same thing I'm just going to put i and before this one more thing we have to remember is here we have got the input in the form of a string so before like subtracting and adding it you have to convert that into an integer so what we are going to do before like uh, confirming it is a digit we are going to put i dot int of i so i is equal to int of i so now this will like give you a perfect output now i'm going to just try with this one techno 10 and let's check oh wait let's see what we have in l and n first after doing this operation l and n let's see if they are getting the correct numbers okay so now we have techno l array which has techno name and we have got also got yen which is 10 so now we have to just compare them that's it so i'm going to just put one if condition if length of l is equal to equal to 10 like yen then we are going to just print like equal or not equal like that okay so we are going to just print yes let's print yes and else we are going to just print no that's all so now let's run and see the output yes so like for this one if it is true then we have to print yes let's try with another one 
I'm just going to give it techno and I'm going to give the length as 9 and now let's run it. It's going to give you no. Okay, so with this I have one simple question like you can try this question on yourself too. Like we have to like get a set of input numbers and we have to separate them and we have to multiply them. So it is very easy question to be precise. You all guys would have like an idea on how to do this. But still we'll try. So we are going to do is first we have to split the numbers. So for this you can use the same technique which I used for the techno name. But let's try it. If we get it as an int we can't separate it so I'm going to get it as a string. So for i in s and we can just append everything to the list. So same thing but it is in very easy and effective way like k dot append of i that's it. So now after just separating the numbers, we can print and see the k value. So let's run it. I'm going to just input some values like 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm just going to run it. Now we have our separated numbers. Now we are going to just make a little one more iteration and we are going to convert like for i in k. And we are going to like have and some variable sum is equal to zero. And before like uh, my making a multiplication or any mathematical action, make sure you change it to an integer. And then sum is equal to some star. Like for this initially we have the value of one, maybe like because or when we are like multiplying with zero there are chances if the numbers gets multiplied with zero we'll get only zero so in that case for the sum value we'll have the default value as one and rest a short we can just put sum star i so now let's print and see the sum if we get 24 then the whole thing is done yes and let's try with triple two and run it yes so this is a very simple one and if you have like any other more simpler options to do this please make sure you comment that down and i have like three more questions which is like replacing strings and all and i'll, I'll be uploading this in the next video and until then this is your very own code Ramon signing off i'll meet you in the next one guys stay tuned and i'm also like thinking of posting on introduction self intro video for the dca interview so make sure you check out that too this is your code Doraemon signing off keep learning keep rocking bye bye